Okay, it's uh, March 15th, Monday. I'm beginning my fourth week to go. So that makes it um, 11th week, the 11th week of my training plan. I've got quite a um, long week ahead of me. So I'm going to go um, listen to the audio guy, which gives me a breakdown of my runs. Um, and I'll talk about it more after I get back. And uh, it's supposedly going to start a light drizzle in like 10, 15 minutes. So I'm going to try to crank this in as fast. Uh, before that hits. I ran 2.3 miles at uh, 8.45 pace. So it's like literally the same um, every week when I ran the uh, first recovery run of the week. So nothing too special about that. Um, but um, I listened to uh, the rest of the run I have to do. So tomorrow I have a far leg run, um, two hard, one easy. So wait for this car to go by. Um, I've got two minutes of hard effort, um, so seven minute-ish pace, and then one minute of easy effort. Probably gonna lower it down to nine minute pace. As tomorrow, Wednesday morning, I'm gonna do a um, long recovery run, 45 minutes. And then Friday, I think I'm gonna run it in the morning. I have a long, or a pretty long um, interval speed run. So five minutes, five sets of five minutes at, um, at 10K pace, I believe. So um 30 minutes of running that's gonna get me to four um ish miles which is quite a lot because on saturday morning i have a 20 kilometer run which clock which is about um 12 a little over 12 miles i think so that means friday and saturday i'm going to be running close to 16 miles which is um a lot so i'm gonna run it friday morning which is unconventional for me but since i have classes classes pretty late in the morning too so I just want to give myself a little more time to recover um, until Saturday morning. So it's definitely going to be a tough week of running. I will probably be pushing uh, 30 miles or at least the high 20s in this week. So um, it will be the toughest week of the training plan because um, from here on after this week, I'm going to lower my mileage and prepare for the um, actual half marathon race. Yeah. March 16th is Tuesday afternoon. Um, well, for my far leg run, it is pretty tough. 21 minutes, uh, well, 20, I think 28 minutes um, in total. Um, a seven minute warm up, and then followed by a 20 minute um, long far leg. Two minutes at, it's gonna switch off from two minutes of hard effort and one minute of easy effort. Um, so it's gonna be a pretty tough run. I've done this before a while ago, and it gave me a hard time. So maybe this time I'll be able to control my pace a little better and to uh, approach it more comfortably but um yeah uh and it is quite late already but plus daylight savings time it's still pretty um light out at 5 30 and doesn't get dark until like 7 30 ish so i have much more time to plan out my runs which is um always nicer i'll chat again once i get back Okay, I'm back. That was definitely a tough run. Um, it didn't go as fast as I thought. Um, well, the whole run itself was 3.4 miles at um, 8.11 pace, but the far like the important part was um, 21 minutes, 4,000 meters, and uh, what was the pace? Um, it was on 7.55, and um, yeah, I'll put the... Um, the pace breakdown over here because the mile doesn't really do it justice. Um, I was floating around um, just about 755, 750 uh, minute per mile pace for the entire fart leg and it goes um, up and down from the harder pace and easy paces but um, it was just really tough. It's hard to control um, yourself when you're switching, constantly switching back and forth from hard running to easy running and it's definitely a ch challenge um, less on the physical but on your uh, mental ability to um, to keep up your strength to um, keep doing those switching so yeah definitely pretty tough uh, i have a 45 minute recovery run tomorrow which should be uh, fairly easy gonna do like five miles should be should be good yeah Okay, it's March 17th, a Wednesday morning. It's, uh, well, it's already almost 11 o'clock, but I'm gonna head out for a 45 minute um, recovery run. It's quite long, but I'm gonna take it really easy, just uh, relax my body a little bit and then um, wake myself up more for the rest of the day. 
Um, but yeah, nothing special. Hopefully, just another way to get some more mileage in and um, yeah, let's get it. Okay, I'm back and I realized I look pretty much the same. It's not too much sweat and my um, face is not too strange. So that's always a um, good sight after a pretty long run. I had um, 5.16 miles, 45 minutes. So that gives me around a 40 minute per mile pace, which is um, really solid. It's just about um, what, I, what my goals um, are for these recovery runs just to get um, pretty long mileages in while still actively recovering and not straining myself um, more for the harder efforts as to come this week. So yeah, I feel great. Uh, there's nothing too special. I can't talk too much. I have a class in an hour and I still have to go home, shower, cook, and do a little bit of meal prep and eat. So a um, bit of a time crunch. Okay, it's Friday morning, um, March 19th. I'm going out for a speed run. I'm going to do a 5 by 5 10k pace, so uh, 5 minutes of 10k pace for 5 times with 2 minute break in between. And the uh, big thing today is to test out this test drop with a um, GoPro to see if I can sustain it for um, a long term running. Um, I got this of course with the intention of um, filming more runs, especially the longer runs and a half marathon, but uh, I'm gonna have to see if it's um, comfortable running like this, if it's gonna affect me too much, and if um, I am skilled enough to uh, reduce the um, reduce my motion so the GoPro camera isn't um, too shaky. But yeah, hopefully everything goes well. I don't have that much time. Uh, I forgot to wear a watch, but I've roughly 70 minutes to get in a 40 minute run and um, shower and eat before my class starts. So I'm gonna go out. <sighs> okay, I am done. I ran four miles at eight minute pace. Um, each 10K interval was just about, put the pace chart here was about um, 7.30. The first one was really slow. I ran first one at 8.25ish. Um, so I don't know what happened there, but I was able to pick it up and keep it at a um, pretty satisfying uh, pace for the rest of the interval, but I uh, made a rookie mistake that I don't think I charged the GoPro la right last night So it was dead just a few minutes into the run So I wasn't able to get too much footage, but at least I got the feel of how it feels like to run with this Setup in my chest. It was it was okay. I uh, prefer to do it on my recovery runs and my long runs But I don't think it's doable on the speed run. It's just too much movement and wobbly for for it to stabilize, but it's actually quite warm for a cloudy and rainy day. But yeah, I gotta go home. I'm kind of late now. <laughs> okay, it's Saturday morning, March 20th. Um, sun's in my eye, but hopefully it's not too bad. But I'm going out for my, uh, it is quite cold. Going out for my 20K long run this morning. Uh, it is quite scary, to be honest, because um, it'll be the by far the longest I've ever ran, like two miles more than my previous um, PR, I guess. So um, hopefully uh, I can do it, but to, in order to compensate for that, I'm gonna run a little slower. I'll probably, I just won't care about my pace at all. If I have to walk, I'll walk. Um, but yeah, I put a layer of Vaseline on my foot, so hopefully it uh, forms a protection layer um from between my skin and my socks so it doesn't rub too much when i'm running and hopefully it won't re-aggregate um re-aggregate the uh the blister so um yeah i'm gonna go out stretch and hope for the best and hope for that my my feet doesn't doesn't die <laughs> okay i think i'm about one and a half miles in feeling really solid legs are so feeling pretty fresh and ran to my middle school was the first part of my run so it's a route I used to take the bike to school every day and quite reminiscent. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, I'm about three miles in, feeling really solid. My blister isn't bothering me, legs are still feeling pretty fresh, so yeah, ready for I'm a quarter through, so it's not any encouraging, but let's go. Okay, five miles done. The fatigue is definitely setting in and my blister is hurting me a little bit, but it's all right. Let's keep going. Halfway done, almost. 
Okay, 10 kilometers done, so midway point. It's definitely hurting a little bit. Every step with my rifle is just pain. But can push through. Let's go. Okay, I am at 13, 12, 13 K. I think this will be a good turning point to go back. It's a beautiful spot. Didn't expect to get such nature -y scenes today, but no, uh, it's still nice to see, but I am not too sure how far I ran actually because um, my calculations went wrong in my head and I lost track. Uh, I know at certain points it's this distance, but I don't know about um, every point. But I think this would be about the right turning point for me to go back and start running home. So yeah, it's crazy to think that I can call um, a big distance like 12 kilometers. It's just a halfway point or a turning point. And yeah, it really makes me see how much progression I've done over um, these past four, 13 weeks. And yeah, it's great. I am going to um, head back. Yeah, every step from here is one step towards home, so that's definitely encouraging. And I am a little bit beat up. My feet, my blisters getting every minute. So yeah, I will start running home. Okay, with lighting snow, so great. But I'm eight miles in. Uh, the GoPro might actually die sometime soon. I don't know how much I'll be able to check in, but yeah, feeling tired, legs are a little bit dead, blisters a little bothersome, but other than that, it's a great run. Feeling good, happy, and looking forward to the rest. Okay, well, that certainly wasn't ideal. I got maybe two minutes of footage out of a, a one hour and 30 minutes long video of me running but the problem was that the I wasn't very good with the chest mount and I had too much um, sway from left to right as I was running so the even with hyper hyper smooth the image was really shaky there's some footage that I can still use like this one but um, they're just in general not very good and nauseous to look at so hopefully I'll get better at this there's definitely a bit of a learning curve shoes after a long run is probably the greatest feeling but uh, I, uh, let me grab the camera a little closer all right so I ran 12.43 miles at 840 pace which is um which is really good actually I didn't expect myself to go out that fast and um more encouraging was the um more encouraging was the big um negative splits that i ran i started around 9 30 for the pace chart here i ran i ran 9 30 for the first mile and then eventually worked my way down to eight minutes per mile and relatively negative splits throughout so i'm um, really really happy with that um but other than that it was um it was a hard run definitely i felt pretty beat up especially in the last two to three miles it was just losing the motivation to run but i'm really happy that i didn't um stop a single time out of fatigue and the only time i paused was the um traffic light stops so um, that's really encouraging to see that's for sure and um the GoPro didn't actually weigh me down too much. I hardly felt it as I got used to it, but it's a little disappointing that I died maybe 14K in. So hopefully I didn't lose any footage and I'm excited to see what I can um, do with this like an hour and a half of running footage. Hopefully it's pretty stable and not too shaky. 
Um, but what else about? That's about it for this run. And then looking back at the week, we have um, this week I ran quite a lot. I think I hit 20, I want to say 27 miles. I don't know the exact pace I ran it at, but um, it was quite fast. I would say maybe a 20 um, minute per mile pace for the entire 27 miles, which I'm happy with. Um, and it was honestly a pretty hard week of running um, because I had um, a lot of hard speed runs and then this really really long run that I'm happy that I got over with and um, yeah I am definitely feeling myself getting a lot stronger and a lot more fit and this is actually um, kind of the end of the harder part of the training plan for the next few weeks I'm going to um, decrease the mileage a little bit I'll probably be looking at 20 miles 15 to 20 miles a week for the next two weeks so really relaxed and just um, resting my body for the um, eventual sh showdown in three weeks that is the half marathon so yeah definitely looking forward to that it's a um, great week hopefully i can do more with this in the future and yeah 